We all enjoy a nice strong flow of water when we turn on the faucet, shower, or need to water our yard. But when we talk about water pressure, too much of a good thing can cause real problems in your home. The correct amount of water pressure makes your plumbing work. Adequate water pressure pushes water through the pipes when you open a tap. When the pressure is too low, the tap response is weak and sometimes disappointing. However, water pressure that is too high can result in leaks and dripping faucets. It will cause sprinkler heads to mist, so the fine particles of water are carried away by the wind. It can cause the pipes in your home to rattle or bang. Excessive water pressure can also damage or shorten the lifespan of washing machines, dishwashers, water heaters, and other plumbing-related appliances. To all of this, there is a simple solution, a water pressure regulator. Generally, your water pressure regulator is located at the spot where the water line enters your home. A water pressure regulator is a plumbing safety feature that is designed to prevent pressure from climbing too high while also ensuring that the pressure remains high enough to meet your daily needs. As stated in the Otai Water District Code of Ordinances, water pressure regulators are considered part of the private plumbing system and are the responsibility of the customer to install, adjust, operate, and maintain. Residential water pressure is generally between 40 and 60 pounds per square inch, or PSI. Typically, anything over 80 PSI is considered high. The two important questions to ask yourself now are, do I have a water pressure regulator? And if the answer is yes, is it working properly? The Otay Water District strongly recommends having your licensed plumbing professional test your water pressure and adjust or replace the water pressure regulator if necessary. In the case of water pressure, too much of a good thing can cause real damage. For the Otay Water District, I'm Leonard V. Riel.